Now let's try to solve another word problem of the set theory. Question is saying here in an examination 27% of the students fail in mathematics and 31% fail in statistics. If 6% of the students fail in both subjects, find the percentage of the students. All right. So as usual, I told three punch we need to give first. First punch, that's write all the given information. Second punch, write in the Venn diagram. Third punch, we need to uh, we need to do some calculations. All right. So uh, the first punch I'm going to give to this question, it means I'm I'm, I'm going to write the, all the information. All right. So what's my information? My information is. 27% uh, of the students fail in mathematics. Okay, so what I'm writing uh, percentage of the students students failed in mathematics. All right, failed in mathematics is how much? That is 27%. So I can write that as a as a uh, cardinal number, like a uh, number of students fail in mathematics, and M is how much? I'm supposing this is 27 okay again a uh, percentage of the students because uh, this was the first information second information 31 percent fail in the statistics all right fail in statistics statistics uh, is how much that is 31 percent so in cardinal number form I can write statistics I'm representing by s is almost 31 and if six percent of the students fail in both so both that is and uh, failed in both subjects I'm going to write here right uh, percentage of the students failed in both subjects that is and uh, simply equals to six percent that is actually and both subject is so M intersection S is how much six percent all right and rest of the strengths will be passed so total number of total total students total students total students is always how much 100% and in which there are failed students also and there are past students also all right so and u is how much that is always 100 okay so now second punch we need to give to this question that is representing this into the vein diagram all right so to uh, draw into the vein diagram to draw a vein diagram first we need to make a rectangle and let me suppose this is my mathematics and this is my statistics all right okay so this is you and this is math this is statistics now see here <coughs> so total number of people who failed in both subjects we need to start from here all right always start from the middle of the vein diagram I had told you while uh, talking about the vein diagram so here is six percent people who are a field in mathematics as well as uh, in statistics and now total number of people who failed in mathematics is how much total number of people who failed in mathematics that is 27 right 27 percent out of 27 six I have already written here so I'm left with 21 all right and now uh, the turn of statistics so total statistics learners uh, uh, who fail uh, the percentage who fail in statistics is 31 percent and out of 31 percent I have already written six percent so rest of this 25 percent here so 21 percent just just they failed in mathematics 25 percent they just fail in statistics but the six percent fail in mathematics as well as the statistics so total number of people total number of percentage that failed in both subject or uh, not not both uh, I mean those students who failed finally who failed in examination so these 21 percent are also failed all right and these six percent are also failed and this 25 percent are also failed so these all are the failed percentage and out of this math and s uh, statistics outside in this region I'm talking outer region those strengths which are passed so we need to write there the students which are passed because this is the circle of the students who failed so out of those out of these circles means students who are passed all right so uh, now what we can do uh, that total number of students is actually number of students who just failed in mathematics all right number of students who failed just in statistics number of students who fail in uh, math as well as science and then number of students who neither failed in math nor failed in science uh, sorry s statistics and giving bar all right so here uh, here if I'm not giving bar it means number of students who failed in math or science or both 
and if I'm giving complement here it means the students who neither fail in math nor in statistics all right so this is what uh, all together that is 100 and uh, just failed in math that is 21 just failed in statistics that is 25 just failed in math and science both uh, means the th those students who fail in both subjects is 6 and those students who never failed in math and science M U S okay bar now it's 100 equals to now 21 uh, plus 26 is 27 27 and 25 it is 52 all right uh, plus n m union s complement so n m union s complement we're going to have 100 minus 52 that is 48 so 48 percent people uh, or 48 percent students were not failed in mathematics and uh, statistics means those students were passed in both subjects all right so the students who passed in both subjects were 48 and fail in examination how many students get fail in examination so the students who fail in examination are these sections fail in examination is this section that is 21 plus 6 27 and 27 plus 25 that is 52 so those are actually 52 percent people fail and 48 percent passed all right this is how we need to solve the problem and this is our third punch all right the first punch all right to the question this is our second punch and this is our third punch so always I, I told you you just have to punch three times to the question and in three times the question will be finished all right in every type of this shared theory problems uh, these word word problems all right uh, hope uh, you understand this and if there is any more problem uh, while understanding the questions uh, or explanations then please feel free to comment just below this video I'll be really uh, happy to hear something from your side alright catch you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe goodbye